riding down the highway one day and I had already cracked my air dam uh, right in the center. It was cracked from hit, hitting a piece of retread. Well, anyway, uh, there's a motorcycle on the highway that wanted to play, so I started taking off, and then I thought I thought I blew something up because the air dam broke. And uh, gosh, I got to get out of the wind. My my 720 injectors that I had, Venom 720s. Well, two of them started making noise really loud, so I went ahead, bit the bullet and bought some RC750 injectors, which I have not changed the tune on the car at all, but it, it runs smoother. It's almost, it's kind of amazing how much smoother it idles. Uh, I wrapped my, uh, my whole exhaust. Also, here's the whole story, okay? This is like a, now, now it's turning into a, like a video blog type of thing. I haven't had a video for a while, so now I'm going to bore you guys, but, um, I was, uh, coming home from work, Camaro was getting on the highway, so I pull up beside him, or kind of, as I'm passing him while he's getting on the highway, I give him the little, little blow-off valve. Well, man, as soon as I did that, it's on, baby, <laughs> and his, his car sounded great, so I'm thinking, I mean, I, I got, I'm running 25 pounds of boost, got the, uh, the methanol bottle back there, methanol injection. So I'm thinking, dude, I'm about to, about to screw your world up. Um, well, anyway, we take off, and well, there's traffic, so we pull off. We do a standstill from a stop sign. So we actually we're not on the highway, but uh, we take off, and right at the beginning, it, it feels like something's not quite right. But first gear, I'm thinking, man, I'm just lighting the tires up, but the car is not, it's not really getting squirrely like, like it should, you know. So, uh, second gear, same thing, just, just blow off valve, just going crazy. Well, then I, I kind of realize as I'm going, I'm thinking, man, my clutch is slipping, that's what's going on. Well, anyway, so we come up to the next stop sign, and, and he's, oh, he's destroyed me, he's way up there. So we pull up, and he tells me, he goes, oh, I was spinning real bad, you know, and I, I didn't say anything about the clutch, because, I, I, you know, everybody makes excuses, so I just told him, I was like, yeah, that's, you know, man, you, you kicked my ass, whatever. But I told him, I, I said, I think I cooked something, and just as I said that, just this wall of blue smoke comes by us, he goes, yeah, you, I think you cooked something. I think that was a combination of the clutch plus I fried my turbo. I had rebuilt it and it <clears throat> it was leaking uh, oil out of the rear seal, you know. So anyway, so I'm on my way to the gym. So I pull into the gym and the whole way there, the car will not stop smoking out of the tailpipe. Um, so I had already bought an, a rebuild kit again. Um, so... Uh, because it had been smoking when I started up. So I take the turbo apart, and man, it's it's cooked, man. The ba rear bearings are all cooked, and I bought a, uh, a turbo timer just for that, you know, because the first time I, I cooked it, uh, I went ahead and bought a, a Gretti turbo timer, and, um, but the rear, what do you call it, uh, compression ring thing, that's right at the rear uh, fins of the turbo. <laughs> you can tell I don't know anything about turbos, but but anyway, it had melted, welded itself to the shaft of the turbo. So anyway, so I'm I've already convinced myself that you know well I'm going to put it together and make it work. So I take my my uh, my Dremel, which I shouldn't have done. Don't do this, but it, it was screwed up anyway. So I took my Dremel and very carefully uh, cut. The, the old compression ring out of there so that the new one would snap in and it, the car actually uh, still smokes a little bit when you start it up but doesn't smoke at all when you drive around but you can tell by driving it it's it when it starts to pull it kind of cuts out so anyway I, I gotta buy another turbo and I got a buddy that's got another whole set HY35 that I really don't 
want to put another one of those in because hell, I've already you know I've had to rebuild this one twice. And when I bought it, it had 17 miles on the turbo, so it's basically brand new. But anyway, so I got all that crap going on, and <clears throat> I was going to upgrade to a, a Turbonetics T62 with a P trim with a 1.00 hot side and uh, uh, something like that, but it went on eBay for too much. It, it had a, a, a teal or tile or whatever uh, external wastegate, but just don't have the cash right now. I bought a bought a new work truck, bought a new uh, work motorcycle, and so I mean I've I've thrown down some serious cash in the past month, so I really don't have money to play with this. But let me show you a couple things since my last video. A couple things that that are new on the car. I have added. Of course, you know now that my turbo is screwed up, I've shut off my uh, my boost controller. But I uh, let me see that in the glare. Added a uh, got a turbo timer, but I leave that off. <clears throat> but I've got a digital uh, fuel pressure gauge also, which is kind of cool. So, uh, you know, that's pretty neat. It's not, it's not spot on, you know, super, super accurate. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, reaction time is not super accurate, but it's, it's, it's very, very close. It, anyway, but listen to this. the 720s in there you can hear the injectors just rattling like crazy and those RC's man are so quiet uh, you know the car made 342 horsepower 390 torque and power was falling off at 4500 RPM because tuning up top is just super super rich you know 10.0 going off the scale uh, after 4500 so that it really didn't want to rev but the injectors started tapping so loud so then I bought the RC 750s and then you know so now I'm back to I need to tune some more to get I want to get back to the dyno then I race this guy my clutch slips my air dam breaks off uh, and now my turbo is <laughs> is cooked I'm really really thinking about selling that car buying this turbo from the buddy because I think, you know, I'm running 25 pounds of boost. I think I'm overworking the turbo is, you know, I could possibly be work overworking the turbo at 25 pounds. Put this turbo in, you know, just tune it for 15 pounds, 12 pounds, because there's not a thing wrong with the motor. That uh, It's a fresh rebuilt stock piston motor. Nothing. Doesn't smoke nothing. If, if, if there's any noise, it's possibly valve train, because I haven't... Uh, when I was putting the big cam in, I've got two uh, turbo heads, swapping them back and forth. I I probably need to adjust the valves, but all this stuff's been going on, so I've been letting that fly. But uh, man, I, I keep going, I keep thinking of selling it and uh, buying a 240SX, $2,500. I can get an RB25, five-speed transmission, ECU, wiring harness. And I believe it comes with you know the intake intercoolers and all that. Twenty five hundred bucks. There's a there's a two forty SX. It's the hatch model, ten miles away on the side of the road, a black one for seven hundred dollars. And you can get them all day long for under a thousand bucks. So I'm thinking, sell that car, get a two forty, put a RB twenty five in there. It'll still be a stock motor, but you know, and then uh, mega squirt that. I don't know. I mean. When when my car runs when it's running good, it's um, you know I'm I'm pretty happy. But uh, I'm ranting and raving. That's that's what's been going on so far.